Whether it's a dog, cat, rabbit, hamster, goldfish, or lizard, most families in the United States include an animal. However, what many people don't realize is that a large portion of products that we use on a daily basis, from cosmetics to cleaning supplies, are tested on the same animals that we love as pets, whether they are fish, mammals, or reptiles. Although animal testing has helped create a small number of valuable advances in the medical world, such as the creation of the first vaccines by Louis Pasteur, the discoveries have been relatively sparse and have come at a high cost to the innocent test subjects. The thought that testing on animals inhumanely is acceptable has been part of our history for a long time, and the creation of animal testing created a turning point in American history by changing the way that products are tested, produced, and even priced. Experimentation on animals, also known as vivisection, dates back to the 17th century. During this time period, many believed that animals could not reason and therefore couldn't feel pain. In 1851, John Dalton became the first neurophysiologist in the United States to include testing on live animals in the classroom. And in 1880, the first vaccines were created by Louis Pasteur, who used animals to study infectious diseases. The practice of testing cosmetic products on animals was first put into practice in 1933 after a woman who used mascara called Lashler went blind and eventually died because the product wasn't safe for use. The woman's death resulted in the Food and Drug Administration, also known as the FDA, passing the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act in 1938. The purpose of this act was to protect the general population from products which were unsafe for human consumption or use. However, this act led to cruelly testing products on animals before they were released to the public because it was cheaper than testing the products on voluntary human test subjects. Many large companies have used animal testing in the past, and some still do today. Many of these companies test on animals to reduce the cost of their products and therefore increase their profits and potential sales. However, now that there are rules and regulations in place to dictate what types of tests are acceptable to perform on test animals, and what animals are acceptable to use for such tests to make testing more humane, Many companies have drastically reduced the amounts of tests that they perform on animals. One example of an act which was put into effect for this purpose was the Animal Welfare Act of 1966. The Animal Welfare Act, or the AWA, is currently the primary regulatory act for animal testing in the United States. However, it only gives rules and regulations for testing on mammals, and not other types of animals or fish. This act required that minimum standards of care and treatment be provided for certain animals bred for commercial sale, used in research, transported commercially, or exhibited to the public. To make sure that the standards provided in this act are followed, agencies such as the USDA, the APHIS, and the Animal Care Agency have been created. Although animal testing reduces the cost of products for the consumer and also increases the profit for the company, Treating animals in this manner is inhumane and immoral. Therefore, there is an enormous movement against animal testing, and the movement is causing more and more large corporations to go completely without animal testing, or at the very least, test in the most humane way possible. This has affected the economy by not only making products more affordable, and therefore encouraging spending on certain brands, but also by decreasing sales on the same brands during a large or highly publicized period of protesting or strike. This creates bad publicity for the companies who are being protested against and can also affect their stock sales if they are in the stock market. As a result of such fluctuations, animal testing creates turning points in the economy and the success rates of companies frequently. Overall, animal testing has been extremely influential on the way products and brands are perceived, the prices of common cleaning products and cosmetics, and the United States economy.